Good morning, it's the 5th of December today. Uh, sorry about the video from yesterday, my battery ran flat and the video switched itself off. Uh, sorry about that, we post two this morning. Um, as I was saying yesterday, we covered uh, right through the onions where we put them back to seed. We had a look at the onion stock from where I got heads from this year uh, to show you the king pods on them. So we'll take a quick look around the greenhouse now and I'll show you the lights. I did cover the um, the small T5 light yesterday, but the LEDs, I think I showed you a little bit about them. I'll talk a little bit about those and also touch on the other lights. So I'll turn the camera around we'll have a little look. Right, all the leaks are doing well. Uh, this is the new Cumbrian. Just in 12 packs. They are doing very nicely. They're a lovely colour. Very nice indeed. Um, we've moved some leaks up. I don't like to see them this big at this time of year. But I'm growing these for heavyweights. Uh, it's just a Betty Black. But I've popped them up into 2 litre pots. And they are really flying along. These are under LED lights. And uh, this one is the uh, Maxi Bright 660 watt. Uh, it's the daylight pro uh, bulbs and they are very nice it has a full spectrum and you can see the little red diodes that's within it uh, these ones actually the betty black is noted for going long because of the growth rate uh, of these lights you can't see they're actually dropping right back they're all splitting themselves down so that's that's a good thing it's keeping them nice and short moving on to the onions uh, the first uh, few onions we've got are seed you can see there, seed. And the plants are growing quite well. At the moment, they're getting 24 hours light. Uh, they've been on that, I would think, for about three weeks. Uh, maybe it's another week or so, and I'll switch them down to 12 hours. Moving on, we've got pips. The first row is Mark Rayner's pips. He very kindly sent me some doing very nicely beautiful root in them and the second row have just been i potted the two up yesterday they are chris evans and they're looking quite nice some small uh, dn2s uh, was just i was going to pot those up but i did a few out of the cells yesterday uh, we've got some new cumbrian which were only potted up during the week they're growing very nicely and then there's still a few leaks in cells now to show you the difference i don't know if, whether i covered it yesterday uh, this is the difference from the LEDs, the 660 watt, to the T5. These onions here in the middle, they've only just been potted. They were selected seed that I had, uh, looking very nice. They have been on the T5 uh, again for about, well, I would say two to three weeks. This batch of onions here, they're not even potted off yet, but they are growing away very nicely. They've been <clears throat> under the LED light, uh, both for 24 hours. The LED is pushing away from the T5, so the LED is proving an improvement on the T5. But moving on from that, uh, if I was to talk about lights, I mean, these are the options which are reasonable to run, not too expensive. If you really want to boost stuff, I have a growth cabinet next door where we have these lights in. Uh, this is the metal halide 660 watt this is a um, veg bulb and this is the son t sodium light again 600 watt uh, these really boost growth even more so than the led uh, the only trouble is they eat the electricity up and they cost a lot of money to run so i haven't had them on at all at the present moment things are growing nicely without incidentally uh, we have got as you can see, there are controls for the daylight LEDs, and at the moment I only have them on 50% output. So we can increase that greatly if I need to, uh, and it does, it makes a big difference when we turn them up. I'll actually turn turn them up just to let you see. Right, you will see a, a difference come here. Just takes a moment. Hopefully you can see the, the increase in power coming through there. If they're on full, it does burn the tips of the plants. So, um, and I have them a metre above the plants. These are just in an open greenhouse bench. Turn them down again. That's it, 
Right, I have some leeks potted in the far corner for myself. I'll show you, these are my own leeks. Now we have some fairly large Pendle Blanche leeks. Uh, they're too big for me, so they'll just be put away for stock. I may grow half a dozen for intermediates. Right, standing here we have DN1. These are in nine centimetre pots. DN1. Moving on, we have Virus Free. Virus free, virus free, beautiful clean foliage, uh, no virus showing on them at all. These are virus free, it is a little bit on the short side, it is a Cumbrian, so I have put small collars on. These are four inch collars and I can see the plants are responding, they start to lift. We'll just see the difference between the ones that's collared and the ones without. And then again, these are DN2. These are not getting any light. Uh, I've switched the heated bench off. So basically they're just stood in the cool greenhouse and my temperatures in the greenhouse are set uh, just beneath 10 degrees. So basically the heating doesn't come on much. It's not hot in here this morning. It's freezing outside. It's not a very pleasant day outside, uh, but temperatures in here are around about 45 to 48 degrees. And I'm quite happy with that. I'm not looking to push any growth rate on beyond the normal. Uh, we have on this side, we have DN1s, some of Peter Carey's Blue Leak. They're growing quite rapidly now. And again, a look at the onions. All looking good. And then along here, I have a few. That's the DN1. Uh, these are small DN2s. They were put into, well I set them off in a year old compost and they just didn't grow. So it shows you do need fresh compost. They are coming away very nicely now. A few small onions uh, which are pricked out singly and they're growing quite well. And I have a few, the ones in the yellow with the yellow labels, they are the new Cumbrian. And again, nice and clean, they're looking very nice. And a few small onions. Well, that's great. It's just uh, a second video, which should have all been on one. Uh, my apologies for that again. Uh, cool morning. I'm going to go in and have some breakfast. Thank you very much now. Bye-bye.